Yeah, I turned it on my desk by Friday morning. All right, I gotta go by. Hey, Richard. What? She wants to see you in her office. Why? I'm not late. I don't know, but you know, Shades be kept waiting, so get after it. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a poster with a mix of people that are healthy, happy, smiling. What they sent me was a bunch of white people who look like their dog's been run over. White people already have insurance. I need ethnic, like Oprah meets Paul Rodriguez. Tell them to do it again at their expense. I don't care. I made my instructions clear. I'm not paying for it. Okay, what do you want now? Richard, how long have you been working for this company? Well, nine years, but you should know that because one, I hired you, and two, you have my file in your hand. You're a very smart man. Good employee for the most part until lately. I think it's time for change. Change? What are you up to over there, you money-grabbing whore? Only temporary. About six months, I'm thinking. It's our lowest performing outlet. We can't keep a manager. I need you out there. And besides, look at you. All you do is watch I Love Lucy reruns. You're getting lazy, you're getting fat, and now you're even living with your mother? Okay, I know what you're up to, you pre-menstrual Barbie wannabe, but you're not gonna get your way. Part of this company used to be mine, and one day you're gonna screw up and I'm gonna get it back. I wish I could fire you. I wish I could stab you a hundred times, but you can't kill the undead. <laughs> It's all set. Richard's going to be our new acting manager of our branch in Odessa, Texas. He can bring his paperwork in now. Do you even know where that is? How the hell would I know? I hate Texas, cowboys, Republicans. That's why I left there. Now that the business is out of the way, why don't you come over and give your stepmother a kiss goodbye? Why, do you have on poison lipstick? <laughs> What? So what did she say? Weren't you listening at the door? Well, well, come on, dude, that's rude. Yeah, but you were doing it though, weren't you? Well, yeah, just to see if I could, but anyway, what happened? Well, your mother, or my stepmother, or how she's commonly known, the evil queen, is sending me to Texas. Texas? Yep. So what are you gonna do? I guess I have to go, I got no choice. Well, okay, then what about your apartment and your dog? I hadn't thought about that. What, you? Come on, dude. I can finally get out, move myself out, and plus it'll drive my mom crazy. Ooh, I could be like Luke and you could be hot and so long we could like take over the Death Star and then we could like just find her and like kill her like she was Darth Vader. Richard! So? Okay, very well. But, a few rules. Okay. No parties, no orgies, no sex, no visitors, no musicians, no drugs, no fun of any kind. And if your mom shows up, throw water on her. Understood. Drove 1,934 miles. What time is it? No, I wasn't gonna sleep all day. Damn. Well, they don't even think I'm gonna be there until Monday. Fine. Yes, Barbara. Fine. Okay, Barbara. Goodbye, Barbara.
bitch. Hello, is Miss Cook in? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but I need to speak well, then, to her. Well, with no appointment, I'll have to ring and see if she's available. You may have a seat. Um. Mm -hmm. Alright. Miss Cook is in a meeting and she will be with you in just a moment. Please take a seat. Okay, fine. Do you know how much longer? Because waiting makes me crazy. And my sanity's in question on a good day. No. I'm afraid I don't know. Miss Cook is in a meeting, and she knows you're awaiting. She will be with you shortly. Now, if sir would kindly take a seat, she will be with you in a minute. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. I don't know who put you in charge, but you're about to be overthrown. Sir? Sir, what do you, sir, you can't do that. It's against the rules. Sir, you can't walk in here like you own the joint. Bad. Rules are in place. No, sir, no, come back here. Sir, would somebody help me? This you, is not how it's supposed to be handled. Now get back okay, to your seat. Whatever medication you're on is clearly not working. Sir, someone would please help me, sir. You are not supposed to be in here. What's going on here? You. Where's Miss Cook? She's in her can you take me there? Right this way. Oh, who is he? Right in there. I do right this here. all the time. Okay, so I've been made to wait in the lobby so you guys can eat your yogurt? Is this what's going on? Wow. Your boss really must be proud of you. Sitting here, eating your yogurt, talking to invisible clients. <sighs> You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call your boss and say, wow, he must be really proud. Let's do that. <gasps> wow, what a coincidence. My phone is ringing when I call your boss. Isn't that a coincidence? I wonder why that is. Can anybody take a guess? Anyone, Bueller? What? Because you're our new boss? Give that woman a banana, she can be trained. Yes, I am your new boss, Richard Daniels. Ha, 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 nice yeah. to meet you. Oh, no. We didn't expect to see you till next week. Yeah, I kind so, of got that impression. Uh, I've been treated like a child. I've been hit over the head by a rather unbalanced receptionist. That, that, that was me, Tiffany. Yeah. So, overall, not a good first impression. We're going to all meet in the conference room in 20 minutes. Does everybody understand that? Come back here! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. And we will start fresh. Because I am a nice guy. Really, I am. Where's my office? You're standing in it. Well, get the hell out of here! I hate my life. Is it true what they say? Did you really hit the boss? Maybe a little bit. Whew, child. <laughs> nice knowing you. Well, I thought I would be the first one fired. Well, what's he like? I guess just kind of forceful. He took my vodka and he crushed my yogurt. Oh, sorry for you, child. They all start out that way. Larry didn't even last two months. I liked Larry. He was such an understanding boss. Aww. It's so sad what happened to him. Hmm. May you rest in peace. Come in. Hi. 
Hello. Hi there. I'm Gloria Summers. I'm your uh, personal assistant. Um, sorry I wasn't here to meet you earlier, but I was out to lunch. I didn't know exactly what time you were well, going to get here. I wasn't supposed to be here today, so it, it's oh, okay. nice to meet you. Okay, nice to um, meet you. I'm glad you're bored. I was looking through the files. Um, I have a question for you. We have a budget for 13 employees, but I'm just looking here and only seeing eight. So, I mean, what's the issue? Why do we have like five vacancies right now? Well, things are a little different over here in West Texas than it is for you up there in the north. Um, you know, we've got the big oil boom, and that causes uh, some horrible situations. You know, there's times that with what we pay everyone with, they, they have a hard time finding a place to live. Um, it's just put us in a horrible situation. And, uh, you know, we have great, you know, the economy's great, low unemployment, but a really high cost of living here. So it's kind of thrown our numbers off. Hmm. Okay. Well, all the employees are over in the conference room. So let's see what I have to work with, okay? Okay. okay. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. As all of you know, I'm the new manager of the West Texas Center. For some reason, you've had six managers in the last three months, so it's hard to build a formidable team with this kind of turnover. But I'm here to help boost sales and improve customer service. Texas has not been one of the states to embrace the Affordable Care Act. I get it. You don't like it. But I'm here to make a dent. Um, um, Valerie gave me some notes here. And I see you sold five units in six months. Five. Mm -hmm. It is our job, yours and mine, to make this a smooth transition as possible and very professional. So I have a list of names here. When I call your name, please stand up and tell me about yourself. Gloria Summers. I am Gloria Summers. I am the assistant manager. I am married and I have two beautiful, adorable children. Thank you, Gloria. Tiffany Allen. My name is Tiffany Allen and I am the receptionist. I have worked here for one month. I've chosen this job for chances of advancement and I hope to be branch manager one day. And I just want to apologize, Mr. Daniels. Uh, didn't mean for that to happen. I'm very, very sorry. I'm just a stickler for the rules. I think she was an SS agent in her past life. I just want to say I am deeply, deeply sorry. Well, I've been hit by better people than you. Uh, Valerie Cook. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Valerie Cook. I'm the, the head of the sales team here, and uh, I just turned 30. I'm single, um, and, and I love to dance and sing. Ah, so. Andrew Weber. Howdy. My name is Andrew Weber. I'm married and got three girls, um, Joe 14, Meg 15, and Amy 17. Um, my wife works at Staples in the copy print department, and uh, on the weekends we do community theater. Thank you. Oh, and uh, I'm on the sales team. Okay. Paris Washington. I'm Paris Washington. I'm twice divorced, I have four children, and I work in customer service. Leslie Gutierrez. I'm Leslie Gutierrez. I've been here four months. I'm the supervisor of the customer service, and I'm divorced, and I love to save sheltered animals. Good for you. Brandon Madrid. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. Um, my name's um, Brandon. Um, 18. Uh, I just graduated from OHS and I'm fixing to go to Odessa College. Why are you fixing it? Huh? Is the college broken? No, 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 sir. Fixing is, it's slang like if you're going to do something like you're going to the store, you're going to school. Fixing is like a slang, oh. sir. Uh, Luke Reed? Where's Luke Reed? Yeah, I think he may be, uh, you know, indisposed. Oh. 
Thank you all for being here. We do have our work cut out for us. Um, you can take 15 minutes and finish. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I'm here, Barbara. Yeah, it's about what we expected. I don't know yet. It could be a lost cause. They seem different. I, I, I kind of have a question though for you. Um, do we have an issue in this office with suicidal employees? Hello? Hello? Gloria? Yes, sir. Oh. I have a question. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know if I really want to know the answer. Um, do we have an issue in the office with suicidal employees? No issue with the employees, boss. Good night.